Let's move on to one of the women who's at the centre of the legal storm that see Donald Trump brought before the courts for a criminal offence. He's the first ever former president to do so. Oh, I love you guys today. You're brilliant. Um, that, of course, would be uh, porn star Stormy <coughs> Daniels. Now, Nadia and Jane, um, they've actually both met her before uh, because you both said they were to <laughs> Yeah, we don't talk about those things. <laughs> <laughs> and if you had, I'm sure you'd both be great. Because um, you spoke to her back in 2018. And um, during that show, she actually revealed her hopes of the future and why she spoke uh, out in the first place. It becomes known that I am not a liar, that maybe some other women will continue to come up to me and say that I changed their lives in a positive way by not being afraid. Um, that someday in the future, my daughter looks up to me and says, I'm so proud of how brave you were. It was great. Yeah. After just a, a final one, what, what are your thoughts on Donald Trump now? Um, I th think that he's a man who's gotten in over his head. This entire story is just, like, gripping everyone. I can't believe that you guys have met Stormy. What was that day like? Wow, it was the, it was really crazy. I think it was one of the craziest sort of live shows that we've ever done. Yeah, it was it was weird. So say we're like in this part now, and we're expecting and so live. like we'll have Peter Andre coming on. So we were in the ad break. Stormy was in the building, in the dressing room, ready to come on. And then literally, as we came out of the ad break, somebody in the gallery just said in my ear, "Jane, get off set now." But they hadn't said it in our ear. So, so she I ran, ran off. off. I ran off. Oh, just, had, just literally in the She'd had break. eggs in the morning and she wasn't <laughs> sure. And I, I thought she was going to be sick. I am not a word of a lie. I was like, oh, my God. But actually... So I was like, why am I, why am I coming off? Anyway, they then said to me, look, lawyers have said Stormy Daniels can't now come on the show, Ooh. even though she's here, ready to come on the show. Um, but we'll get round it. You go and interview her in her dressing room and then you can come back onto the show in the next part and say what she said. So we kind of got round it that way. Although, because I had to run up two flights of stairs and I'm not very fit, I spent the whole part going, she said. But it, but it, <laughs> but it was so exciting because she had, like, a notebook. It was, like, proper, like, journalist, runs downstairs, comes back up, gets the story. And we'd already met Stormy before What's then. she like? And we really liked her. We well, what happened really after that? Her. So I did the thing, did the interview <clears> in the dressing room and oh, she, I, remember, I remember it as if it was yesterday. She went... Well, you know, because it was it was lawyers that were saying she couldn't come on the um, show, not her. Um, she wanted. Okay. She was like, "I'm not frightened of Donald Trump, so I'm certainly not frightened of lawyers." Wow. <laughs> and but anyway, but what we did was we pre-recorded it directly after, didn't we? Yeah, and then yeah. we used it at a later date once we'd sorted out so the legal issues. Great. We spent quite a lot of time with her, like off camera as well, didn't we? Telling she was telling us good stuff. Anything and, that you can dive No, on? I mean, ah. I would never, because I, I, I actually really liked and <coughs> respected her, and I felt like I would want her to be a friend of mine. That's how much I liked really? her. She was a truly... She was a very authentic person. She had... She's had a really tough life right from a childhood. There is not one shred of victim about her in anything. She's very powerful about how she's made her own choices all through her life. And I see her as a really a thriving survivor. But when I think back to the interview and when she was <coughs> talking about how, you know, part of why she wanted to speak out was she wanted to be in plain sight because she felt safer. Mm. And she told us some stories, really frightening stories of how uh, Trump supporters had come up to her. There's one incident where they come up to her and she was with her small child. And they said, what a beautiful child. Wouldn't it be a shame if her mummy was to no longer be wow. here? Now, at the time, we were all, like, you know, obviously, <clears throat> like, listening and feeling that. But now, after we've seen the insurrection on Capitol Hill and you've seen the kind of quality of person, you know, pitchforks and screaming and shouting and run. You think, my God, she, that's what she's been <clears throat> facing all these years. Do you think they're Terrible. not... Yeah, play, <clears throat> excuse me. Playing, playing devil's advocate, because I can't stand Donald Trump and everything that he stands for, but playing devil's advocate, I would also like to say that, that Stormy Daniels being elevated to a certain position, she was still a woman who made a conscious decision to have an affair with a married man. Let alone, and I've had an affair with a married man, so I'm not moralising about this at all. I'm just saying that she still made a conscious decision 
to have an, af an yeah. affair. But what, what, how Which, does that, if that fit was into the, the narrative? No, because if that was... If, that we, we've talked you don't about, deserve getting death threats because no, you've had an affair No, of course you don't, but if it was anybody else on this show a one -off, where we have had... No, apparently it was an affair. It was an affair. No, no, no. no. It was one off. But, uh, oh. she, she alleges that it's just a one off. Mm. Anyway, I'm just saying there's plenty of other people on, on this show that we've sort of reprimanded for being in that, in that position. So I'm just saying that mm. that was still the case. There is Donald still... Trump is the. Uh, Donald Trump's the one that made the vows. Yeah. Yeah, but that, does that mean that it's okay to have an affair with a married man? No, no, but, but I don't think I that's did the it. point of what. She didn't put it out, you know, she got. She's in this because I'm just of all the court cases. That we have, we have, I don't think she wants to be in the public eye. You would frown upon, well, I don't. I don't necessarily agree. Oh, with that. I, I, honestly, honestly, if you met her, you would ch you would change your I'm mind. I'm sure I would, would like her. Yeah, you would enormously. And I I love because the other thing she said is she said I want this to be validated. Yeah. I don't want people to know because she's always been called. I the just liar. would have asked for more than 130 grand <laughs> from Donald <laughs> Trump. Because that, that that for anyone that doesn't know, 130 thousand dollars <laughs> to him is allegedly the hush money that. She she was paid by Donald Trump's lawyers. Well, this is a story that's going to run. Good luck, Stormy. Run. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs>